Hey everybody, we're starting in child's pose today. two goals of child's pose are total and complete relaxation and then also getting our minds and bodies into our yoga practice so we close our mouth and we start doing deep deep belly breaths all out of our nose deep deep inhales deep deep exhales Spend the next two minutes concentrating into you. your patients coming on out of a uh, child's pose getting up onto all fours for cat and cow and then spinal balance check out that your shoulders are directly over your wrists hips directly over knees and on an exhale curving your spine up towards the ceiling for cat and then inhaling dropping your belly down to the ground and Tailbone, shoulders, chest up towards the sky. Exhaling, cat. Inhaling, cow. You're just following your breath, going at your own pace.
coming back to that neutral on all fours, and then going to spinal balance. So on an inhale, lifting up your left arm and right leg. Exhale, lowering back down to all fours. Switching, so lifting up the right arm and left leg. Exhaling down, and then just like cat and cow, follow your own breath here. Inhaling up, exhaling down, switching, and inhaling up on the other side. Next exhale, coming back down to all fours. And then just uh, lifting your hips off the ground a little bit. Walking your feet up towards your hands into a forward fold. Inhaling the first sound down the neck. Exhaling down the back. Do our sun salutations now. Inhaling arms up. Exhaling forward fold. Exhaling your left leg back into a lunge. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Inhaling into a plank. Exhaling, crocodile. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling your right leg forward into a lunge. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, you can slide back up. Exhaling, chair. into a lunge. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling, up to a plank. Exhaling, crocodile. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling your left leg forward into a lunge. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, first one back up. Exhaling, chair. Inhaling, back. If you brought me water, I would be very hard. Take a little sip if you'd like. My second mountain today is basically just a very, a, a long, extended warrior series. All right, so starting in mountain pose. Inhaling arms up. Exhaling forward. Um, stepping you both your feet back to get into your downward dog. Okay, bringing up our right leg for, for starting with the Warrior Series. Your front foot should line up with your back heel. Your back heel bent at an angle. Um, check your knee. Your knee should be directly over your ankle. Hips twisted towards the front. Arms elevated.
All right, for warrior two, you're going to take your hips and, and open them up to the east, or the west wall. Arms coming down to shoulder height. And your gaze is forward over your fingertips. So forward would be in my direction, towards your fingertips. Check that knee. Is it still over your ankle? If not, adjust. Right, tilt up for reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. Um, next side angle. You're going to take your front arm, place it down on your elbow, your other arm up towards the sky. Back up to warrior two. Now triangle for triangle. Step one, straighten your front knee. Step two, lean forward. Step three, tilt up. Bring your hands down to the mat, into your lunge, Pro uh, plank, crocodile, up dog, and then down dog. We're going to rest here for four breaths. You can also rest in child's pose if you'd like. Down dog or child's pose. Okay, now let's bring our left leg forward for a warrior series. Knee over ankle, hips square to the front, arms raised. And our arms have dynamic tension. Take your hips, open them to the east small for warrior two. Arms down to shoulder height. Gaze over your fingertips. And also check that front knee for alignment. Make sure it's located over the ankle. Two. That's the side angle, so we're taking that front arm, resting it on our knees, other arm up towards the sky. Back up to warrior two. Now triangle for triangle, straighten the front knee. Lean forward, tilt up. And even though your leg should be straight here, you still want to have that little micro bend in your knee. Not locking your knee back. Lower your hands back down to the mat for lunge. Then point. Crocodile, up dog, down dog, or child's pose. If you're in child's pose, back up to downward dog, and then walk or jump your feet up towards your hands. Get into your forward fold. Inhale, reverse slam, dive up. 
Back to now. Eagle pose. This is our balance pose for today. This is a very challenging pose. I have to show you a picture of it because I can't use this pose myself. Um, the big thing to notice here, here the left arm is on bottom, here the left leg is on top. So you're doing contrasting things. Left arm on top, left arm on, or left leg on bottom. So let me try to talk our way into it now. There's different ways of getting it into eagle. I always like to start in mountain pose. Now remember with mountain pose, you're gripping the mat with your feet, quads are engaged, core is engaged, we're reaching down. And then for the upper body, let's start with right under left. So you take your arms, you swing them out, and bring your right arm under your left arm. So my right's under my left. Now you want to try to get your hands to, to meet and have your palms be meeting like she has in that picture there. So if you can get your palms to meet, that's awesome. We have here in the front. That's great. That's good. That's one. All right, so my left arm is on top. So because my left arm is on top, that means I want my right leg on top. So I'm still in mountain. I sit into a chair. I take my right leg. Place it over the left, and you're trying to wrap that foot behind your calf. <laughs> so, so you're just really squeezing your body tight here, trying to get the arms to wrap, the legs to wrap. It's a lot going on with the eagle pose. together and then sit back into my chair. My right arm is on top, so I want my left leg to be on top. I'm going to take my left leg, try to wrap it around, duck around the calf. Awesome. Good job, Dan. Excellent, Alex. Good, Sarah. Sam, looks good. Good job, that's fantastic. All right, and release. Eagle, hard pose. All right, on third mountain. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, forward fold. Stepping your feet back into a plank. And then just coming onto your butt, just swinging around. For staff pose. Now, with mountain pose, you're standing there engaged. In staff pose, we're sitting here engaged. You flex your feet so that your feet are pointing at the ceiling. You engage your quad muscles. You engage your core muscles, which makes you sit up straight. And then because this is difficult, we also use our hands to support ourselves. So feet, quads, core, hands, just like mountain pose. Um, first thing we're going to do is seated forward fold. You can do seated forward fold with your feet together. You can do it with the splits. I kind of like to do a half splits here. So just open your legs as far as comfortable. Now, in, in, oh, now remember, your legs are engaged. Feet, quads. Now, in inhale, you lengthen up. And then exhale, you hinge at the hips. Trying to keep your back as neutral as possible. And you're hands coming down to maybe your shins, maybe your feet if you can, but only if you can do it with a neutral spine. When 
your next inhale, maybe extend up a little bit. And then your next exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. And release back to staff pose. Not lazy staff, engaged staff, feet, quads, core, hands, all engaged. Now cradle the baby, keeping your right leg fully engaged. Go ahead and pick up your left leg. Put your foot in one nook of your elbow. Put your knee in the other nook of your elbow. And then try to sit up straight. Remember to keep this extended leg engaged. the left leg, re-engaging that left leg, and then picking up the right leg, foot in one elbow, knee in the other elbow, sitting up straight, extended leg still fully engaged. staff pose, feet, quads, core, hands, next butterfly pose, bring your feet in together, hands on your ankles, and we're not using our elbows to push our knees down. You're using the strength of your leg muscles to bring those thighs as close to the ground as possible. And then if you like, you can also hinge at the hips and bring a little bit of a forward fold if you'd like more. Staff pose. Boat pose. So first we'll lift our legs up a little bit here. And then you're leaning back, keeping that, that spine neutral. And you're going to lift your legs up off the ground to create your boat. Your hands are your counterbalance. Your feet can be, or your legs can be like this. You can bring them parallel to the ground. This is where I like my boat to go. Amazing boats actually do this with straight legs, like that. It's amazing. <laughs> but find your favorite boat. Whatever boat works for you. You want that back neutral, legs wherever is comfortable. Every time I looked in the camera, my back, went, I, was, I was having a hard time getting my spine neutral. All right, seated spinal twist. Keeping your right leg engaged, you're going to bring your left leg up, and you can leave it here, or if you'd like, you could bring it over your knee to give a little bit added of a spinal balance. And then on an inhale, I'm going to lift up our right arm, and exhale, wrap it around this knee, spinal twist.
and release back the staff pose. Bring the right leg up. And if you left it here on one side, leave it here. If you brought it over when you did the other leg, bring it over here. This extended leg, keep it engaged. And inhale, you lift up your left arm. Exhale, work through your spinal twist. And release. Back to staff pose. last pose of the day is going to be legs up a wall. Legs up a wall is actually a really good pose for uh, like when you get off of the airplane and your feet feel swollen. Anyway, uh, let me show you the wrong way to do it first. What a lot of people like to do is they just go up to the wall, they put their feet up the wall, and then they try to like do this thing and get their butt as close as possible. But it doesn't work. Like you get this far away and it just gets hard. The easiest way to do this is to start on your side, back all the way up until your butt is against the wall, and then once your butt's up against the wall, then go ahead and rotate up, and then go ahead and extend your legs and work your hips down to the ground. Legs up the wall. So everybody, go find a spot along the wall. Go ahead and move your, get your legs up the wall. And I'm going to come around and give you advice if I'm seeing it. If you're doing this at home, just do legs up a wall for four or five minutes, and that's it. Have yourselves a great day. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Legs up the wall in yoga class.